Oh, it's time. Time to get radical. Your discretion is advised. Here's what you don't want to do if you're Bethesda. If you're Bethesda, who just released Fallout 76, widely seen as the worst Fallout title ever released, widely seen as one of the most buggy, glitch-filled games of all time, you don't want to further piss off your loyal audience. So what did Bethesda do? Um, there's a $200 power armor edition. Many people, the whales, the people with the deep pockets, uh, will often get these really expensive collector's editions, which basically uh, is the game with usually a lot of plastic crap. But you see this Fallout, uh, it's called the Power Armor Edition, came with a really nice looking canvas bag. Now, if you go to eBay, if you go to Amazon and you look up uh, canvas bags, they're not cheap. They are pretty freaking nice. Um, so a lot of people were like, I'm going to get this collector's edition, uh, mostly to, to be able to get that nice Fallout canvas bag. That'd be a nice little conversation piece. Uh, it's functional too. I mean, it's a bag, right? Well, what people got instead of the very nice looking canvas bag that was in the photos, I'll show you a photo here. Instead of that, they got a really cheap looking piece of shit nylon bag. Now, nylon is about the worst kind of bag you can get. It's a lot cheaper to produce than the very nice canvas bag. They promoted you would get a canvas bag, not a nylon bag. Now, in most other uh, instances, let's say if you had Red Dead Redemption do this, or you had Rockstar do this for uh, maybe a Red Dead Redemption collector's edition, I don't think it would be as huge of a deal but already people that bought Fallout 76 that are not enjoying Fallout 76. Many people that are completely just done with the Fallout series after experiencing Fallout 76. Uh, those people, <laughs> it's a little bit easier to enrage those people over some bullshit like this. Okay, uh, you don't get any free passes when you release one of the shittiest games of the year. Uh, so what did Fallout do? For these loyal people that put down the $200 to get this super expensive collector's edition, what did they offer in return? I'll read you the, uh, the tweet here from them. We understand and respect that there is disappointment with the bag in the Power Armor Edition. We are sorry. I feel that I can tell they're really sorry. Uh, please contact Bethesda Support to provide proof of your purchase, they will assist in granting your account 500 atoms. Now you might think to yourself, what the fuck is 500 atoms? Well, you see, with Fallout 76, Bethesda took out certain things. They took out NPCs. Uh, they took out the VAT system. They took out a lot of what, what made Fallout great. They took out a lot of those wonderful things from Fallout and they put in some microtransactions. Some really shitty, expensive microtransactions. Uh, and I'm not talking you get, you know, you get fair prices on these clothing items. I will show you some of these clothing items here and what you could get for the measly 500 atoms they're giving you to replace your displeasure with getting a cheap nylon bag instead of a really nice high quality canvas bag. 500 atoms. That sounds like a lot, doesn't it? For 500 atoms, I should be able to go to this atomic shop and really pimp my Fallout 76 character out. Not exactly. If you look at this typical page here in the atomic shop, uh, if you have 500 atoms, you don't get shit. Um, what can I afford? I can afford a sweater and slacks. I can afford some black overalls. And I can get me a nice pretty blue dress. I can get the blue dress. But I can't get the fringe dress. That's three times as much as 900. Now what the fuck am I going to do running around in Fallout 76 with the blue dress? I don't want to look like a commoner. Ooh baby, I want the fringe dress. What the fuck else can I get? Well I can't get the jumpsuit, that's 600. 
Can't get that, uh, you know, greaser jacket. 800. Can't get the pajamas. Brother, can't even get no pajamas. I gotta put up a hundred more atoms. I gotta buy me some more atoms just so I can sleep comfortably in Fallout 76. And oh, don't even talk about the vampire costume. You want the uh, awesome badass vampire costume? Go creeping around at night in that world looking like a vampire? No, no, no. Mm -mm. So, I don't understand the replacement uh, unless, unless it's very cynical. Unless Fallout 76 was actually just going to give you a little bit of atoms. That's probably what it is. They're going to give you like a little bit of atoms. So you get to the store, you realize you can't buy shit. So you're going to have to pony up more money just to be able to afford something really nice. So they give you just a little bit just to get your ass in the fucking atom shop. Oh my fucking God. This is tone deafness. This is tone deafness. Uh, now... I hear they actually are doing right. They are actually doing right by people. They've started the process. They've started the process of giving people canvas bags. Okay? So uh, maybe it's due to the outrage of everyone uh, maybe making videos on their uh, cheap asses and calling them out for just giving someone 500 atoms and not the proper canvas bag that they promised. Okay, if you're in business and you promise somebody something and they pay for it, you damn well better get what you fucking paid for. Especially if it's attached to a piece of shit game that many people are pissed off they paid $60 for in the first place. Now, here's a little bit of an update to this story. Now, you might think it can't get any worse, but it gets worse. You know who got the canvas bags? Take a wild guess. That's a good name, don't you think? The people promoting the game. Uh, the people they call here, let me read this here. Uh, online promoters? I could only assume that means a lot of YouTubers. So, a lot of the YouTubers that you saw before this game come out, uh, displaying the nice canvas bags and talking about the game, um, I like to call them shills, uh... They got the bags. What, maybe Bethesda ran out because they gave too many of these nice, high-quality canvas bags out to the YouTube shills? And then you who fucking paid the money for it. Not the shills who probably got the goddamn game in the bag for free just to promote for them. You got fucked over. Again, not just with a shitty fucking game that's broken as fuck. That will not probably be fixed until 2019, if at all. But you got yourself a shitty nylon bag that a little kindergartner could probably poke a hole in with their finger. Um, but does it get worse? Does it get worse, you might be asking. Can't get any worse for Fallout 76. You release the shitty fucking bug-filled game. You screw over people with this canvas bag stuff. But it gets really bad. Well, instead of explaining it further, I think I'll just share with you a tweet. This is from Jesse Tracy. At Bethesda Support, I am receiving other people's support tickets on my Bethesda account. I have numerous people's receipts for Power Armor sets that includes their emails and home address and the type of card used. This is not good, right? That's not good. That's pretty fucking terrible. Uh, now, some people might give Bethesda credit because they have now apparently fixed the leak. They have fixed the problem. But... I, I gotta think, unless it was for Jesse and people like her tweeting this out directly to Bethesda, would they have even been paying fucking attention? Would this problem have ever been fixed? There are many problems with Bethesda right now, and it's not just in Fallout 76. Bethesda is in full damage control mode. Uh, many of you might defend Bethesda and say, hey, you know what? They have since fixed this security leak. Okay, people's personal information is no longer being exposed. Uh, many of you might say that they're releasing all these patches to the game that are going to improve the game. So, hey, it's not going to continue to be a shit-filled bug fest. Many of you might say they are sending out the nice quality canvas bags uh, to their loyal customers who bought the $200 collector's edition, 
Uh, maybe they went to the houses of all these YouTubers they gave the bags to and said, hey, hey, we need the bag back. You know, people are pissed. Give us the bag back. Um, I, I don't feel hopeful for the future of Bethesda games. Uh, I thought this Fallout 76 was going to kind of be a dumpster fire regardless. I didn't know it would be a dumpster fire that just got out of control, though. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next Elder Scrolls game. But if it's released like this, if the next Elder Scrolls game is still using the same fucking old-ass engine, which I hear reports is going to be using the same old creation engine with minor updates... Uh, I, I'm not hopeful for the future of Bethesda games, and that is a shame.